Good morning, Debbie here. Uh, I made a video yesterday of the altered book stroke filing system. And yesterday I'd only just folded the pages up. So today, I'm trying to zoom up a little bit. I'm going to show you the finished article. So what I did yesterday, I did all the pages. And when I finished making the video, I covered the papers that I said I would cover. So I did a sort of steampunk style, uh, glossy accents to this gentleman's glasses. That's the back. And on the front one, I did similar sort of paper, added some chain and a little key. And this is the filing system. So on one side, um, I finished it off in the corner just with a little metal and a bit of bling there. And then on this side, I finished it with just a, a red rose. So this is it. I inked the pages and made them a bit grubbier. And as you can see, this is what it's quite difficult really to try and show you. Uh, I've just popped a few things in there so you can see. The type of things it'll do. These are just tags that'll just slot in. Um, there's some sticky notes at the front there. There's a bulldog clip with a little uh, moustache on and keeping with the theme. Something wicked this way comes. It's just really to show you that the type of things you can just stick in. There's a few houses in there. Uh, there's little bits and pieces. You could stick photographs. But the things I've put in it for now are just in keeping with this theme. You could stick little receipts in or anything. There's a little skeleton man there with a glossy accents hat. Now what I did with when I covered the pages, I distressed with my Tim Holtz distressing tool all the edges first, inked them all up, and then I inked actually the edges of the book all the way around the sides because the paper was just going to be a little bit shorter just so you could see the edging so I did that on both sides it's quite sturdy actually um, but I think I will back it onto card because if I turn it upside down and show you oops this way it is still this is the paperback book that I used so I think I will back it onto like some board or an old game board or something and that will make it even sturdier um, and I'm going to use it just on on my desk and pop odd photographs or notes receipts things to do little notes so I think it turned out really well and when it's done I can just make a new one so don't worry about grubbing up the pages you know, you can do that as much or as little as you want. I did quite a bit there. And I did all the bits at the front. You could actually colour each page. I would like the pages to be a little bit sturdier. Um, and I thought, um, next time I make one, I could actually do every single page and cover it with uh, Mod Podge or something. But that would take an awful long time to get each page dry. But I thought it would probably make it a lot sturdier and it might last a little bit longer. But with careful use, I think it might be okay. But I think it's really cute. It does take a little bit of time to fold all these pages inwards. You've got to use your bone folder to get nice crisp edges. But once you've done it, you know, and you've got your basic shape, it, it's just really great. It, take, it doesn't take long to cover your pages. As you see, they're covered right to the top with the steampunk pages and I think it's a really really good idea so Yoli Bean thank you very much for the idea I really enjoyed making this and uh, I'm going to uh, be using it often so there you go I hope you like it try one yourself till next time bye bye